Hey YouTube, my wife and I just had the car dealership pay us $4,500 for turning in our leased Honda CRV. I, like many other people, had no idea you can actually make money turning in your leased car. Um, so I thought I'd make this video and tell you how I did it. If you learned something, please leave a like to help out the channel and subscribe for more content in the future. All right, let's get into the video. My wife signed her 39 month lease back in November of 2018 for her new CRV. Now at the end of your lease, you have a few options. You can buy it and keep it, buy it and sell it, or you can return it to the dealership and find a new car. Um, the dealership really wants you to return it and lease a new car from them. But in our situation, my wife and I really didn't need two cars um, because I'm working from home now. So we figured we'd use the current car market to our advantage. Now, if you haven't heard, used car prices have gone up 40% in one year, which is insane. So the same car last year that cost 20K now costs 28K. New car prices have also gone up around 12% since last year. And a lot of this is due to the chip shortage and inflation. So there's a way to use this to your advantage, and that is by keeping your lease or by buying and selling it like many others are doing now. In 2020, Ford and GM had about 75% of people return their lease. And now that number has plummeted to 10% for GM and 35% percent for Ford. A few weeks before the lease was up, I decided to look into the value of the car. Now I did this by going on Kelly Blue Book, Carvana, CarMax, which give you an instant cash offer, but also looking at local listings for what 2018 CRVs with similar mileage are selling for. Typically this was from twenty-five to twenty-nine thousand dollars. Now when you originally sign your lease, there's something called the residual value in your paperwork, which is the amount you can purchase your car for at the end of the lease. In our situation, it was 17667 but apparently there's a $500 fee tacked on um, when you purchase it, so the total is really 18167 So if we were able to sell it directly to a person, that'd be great. Um, for $26,000, we would net $6,662, right? Um, but with that is a lot more work and risk, right? Because you're going to have to... You know, get the car detailed, you're going to have to get the car faxed, you're going to have to take pictures of the car and list it on like cars.com or Auto Trader, um, and then you're going to have to actually meet with people um, to sell them the car and uh, give them you know, a tour of it, um, take them on a test drive, um, get the title in their name, uh, negotiate with them, and then there's no guarantee right, when it's actually going to sell. Um, so there's a lot more risk involved with that. Uh, and at the end of the day, we figured that we'd see, you know, how much the dealership would be willing to, you know, purchase it for because, you know, dealerships have their own inventory of, you know, used cars that they sell. So our goal going into the dealership was to sell it for 24,000 and make a net profit of around $4,500. Um, when we went to the dealership, uh, they, did the Carfax and they gave us an offer of 22,700. But we didn't, what we didn't realize was that we didn't have to pay sales tax, um, which is around 6%, 6.6% in New Jersey, uh, which, you know, adds up to being around $1,100. Um, so at the end of the day, without having to pay that, we're still netting $4,500 and uh, we were very happy with that. So, in a few weeks, we'll be getting our check in the mail. And, you know, we're in a lot in a situation where we don't need two cars and we're kind of going to wait and see how the market plays out. But um, anybody who's, you know, just returning their car can also use this to their advantage because, you know, you can use this as trade in value um, and maybe get a certain amount lower off of your new lease. Um, so it's not just one situation. It's really, um, you know, anybody returning their leased vehicle. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something and uh, you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Peace.